Hello guys, what's up everybody? Again, it's your boy Kigogo Alingo Dani of Biochemistry and we are here in JQuart trying to synthesize and study more about uh, gluconeogenesis uh, and metabolism, uh, basic metabolism one. So today, in our, remember in our previous video we discussed about the regulation and the reactions of the TCA cycle where we said TCA cycle comprises of the eight uh, enzyme catalyzed reactions of which it begins with a uh, coenzyme which is uh, an acetyl coenzyme and then reacts with uh, another one called uh, oxaloacetate to give succinate and the reactions goes all the way to uh, the l malate dehydrogenase to produce the oxaloacetate as the final product fine that was for last week but for this week we want now to begin a new concept uh, which is uh, the second topic of the unit uh, it's called gluconeogenesis. First of all, before we go ahead to discuss gluconeogenesis and what happens at gluconeogenesis, uh, you should ask yourself, have you ever stayed without eating? And do you ask yourself why? Uh, with, like when you are fasting or when you are under enormous exercise or when you take uh, a long time without eating anything. So what happens to your body? That's what we are going to discuss under gluconeogenesis. So just stay tuned, sit back and relax to this uh, today's lecture. First of all, we need to define gluconeogenesis. This one is the synthesis of new glucose from non-carbohydrates. Precursors, they provide glucose when dietary intake is insufficient or absent. So it means when you are taking a, a less uh, food in your diet or when you are staying much time without eating, it means that you are going to undergo, uh, your body is going to undergo uh, gluconeogenesis where a new glucose is formed from non-carbohydrates. And then it is essential in the regulation of acid-base balance amino acid metabolism and synthesis of carbohydrates derived structural components. Gluconogenic pathway converts pyruvate and related three and four carbon compounds to glucose. It occurs in the liver and kidneys. You must uh, know where gluconogenesis uh, specifically occurs in the human body. The precursors of gluconogenesis have lacted glycerol amino acids with the propionate making minor compositions. So like when you look at gluconeogenesis, you have lactate, you have glycerol, you have amino acids, and then they have a propionate which makes a minor contribution. In microorganism, gluconeogenesis starts from simple organic compounds of two or three carbons, such as acetate, lactate, and proponate. Gluconeogenesis Genesis pathway consumes ATP, which is derived primarily from the beta oxidation of fatty acids. So we need to understand, uh, actually, this is the basic introduction of how gluconeogenesis occurs. Therefore, uh, how is gluconeogenesis important? So to nenda kuangalia hiyo. Essential metabolic pathway for at least two reasons. It is essential for metabolic pathways for at least two reasons. One. It ensures that maintenance of appropriate blood glucose levels when liver oxygen is almost depleted and no carbohydrates are ingested. You see, you maintain appropriate blood glucose level when liver glycogen is depleted. Like glycogen, you remember glycogen in the liver, it undergoes oxidation to produce glucose. Glucose is essential for energy of the muscles and the body system. So you'll find that here, when we have gluconeogenesis, there is that appropriate blood glucose level uh, in the liver. Then we have maintaining glucose in its normal range of 3.5 to 5.5 uh, millimeter per mole. It is essential because many cells and tissues depend largely or entirely on glucose to meet their ATP demands i.e. the red blood cells, neurons, skeletal muscles of the kidney and the testes, the lens and the cornea of the eye and the embryonic tissues. For example, we have glucose requirement for the brain is about 120 grams per deciliter. So if you are, your brain wants to function very well, you should ensure that the blood glucose level within the, the brain 
is about 120 gram per deciliters. Another second important of, uh, of gluconeogenesis is about uh, what happens during fasting. So let's go through and see. So during fasting, uh, as in between meals or overnight blood glucose level are maintained within normal ranges due to hepatic uh, glyconeolysis. We, remember we have gluconeogenesis and then we have glyconeolysis. And the release of fatty acids from adipose tissue in the ketone bodies by the liver. So when we are, you are sleeping or you are trying to fast, the blood glucose levels, they are maintained within the normal ranges due to hepatic glyconeolysis and they release fatty acids uh, from adipose tissues. Remember, adipose tissues are just from the skin layers and the bodies, uh, ketone bodies by the liver. However, after about 18 hours of fasting, during intense or prolonged exercise, Glycogen stores are depleted and may become insufficient. Remember, you might fast for 18 hours, of which it's almost uh, as a whole day. Therefore, or if you have intense exercise without eating, glycogen stores are depleted from the body and therefore they are insufficient. So, so at that point, no carbohydrates. If no carbohydrates are ingested, gluconeogenesis becomes important. Remember, by definition of gluconeogenesis, we said it's that production of glucose from non-carbohydrate uh, precursors in the body. So if you don't eat or if you find yourself fasting, you become a uh, gluconeogenesis a process becomes important in your body. The importance of gluconeogenesis is further emphasized by the fact that if blood glucose level fall between 2 milliliter per mole, or liter unconsciousness occurs. So when the blood glucose level fall be below that, then unconsciousness occurs. Uh, the third importance of gluconeogenesis, we have excretion of pyruvate, which will lead to loss of activity to produce ATP through uh, respiration. So lazima tutoe pyruvate katika hii reaction ambayo tunenda kuangalia. So let's begin uh, the reactions of the gly gluconeogenetic pathway. Glycolysis and gluconeogenesis have several steps. Seven of the ten are enzymatic reactions of gluconeogenesis and three reverse of glycolysis. So remember, these uh, reactions of gly gluconeogenesis, we are going to discuss ten enzymatic reactions. And when we were discussing something about the TCA cycle, we said TCA cycle is influenced by eight enzymatic reactions. Sour, sour. Uh, so under gluconeogenetic pathway, we are going to discuss the several steps of which they are all a total of 10. But seven of the 10 enzymatic reactions are for gluconeogenesis and there are three reverse. Therefore, the three glycolysis reactions have such large negative delta G that they are essentially irreversible, i.e. we have hexokinase or glucokinase, we have fructokinase 1 and pyruvate kinase enzyme. In gluconeogenesis, the three irreversible steps are bypassed by separate sets of enzymes that are irreversible in the direction of glucose synthesis. The four unique enzymes of gluconeogenesis are and remember guys this question is very very common in our exams both GSSE and our mocks and internal examinations within the university and therefore you must understand that there are the unique enzymes of gluconeogenesis and you are bound to be asked that question as far as uh, the biochemistry and whatever exams and the school of biomedical sciences is concerned so Let's discuss the unique enzymes of gluconeogenesis. One, we have the pyruvate carboxylase. It's located in the mitochondrial matrix. Phosphoenyl pyruvate carboxykinase, located in the mitochondrial matrix and the cytosol. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase, it's located in the cytosol. And then lastly, we have glucose 6-phosphatase, which is located in the endoplasmic reticulus. Remember, there are four unique 
enzymes of gluconeogenesis and before we go to the next video uh, when we'll be discussing now the gl gluconeogenetic pathway we shall be discussing about the pyruvate carboxylase the phosphoenyl pyruvate the fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase and the glucose 6 phosphatase so in our next video we'll be discussing the reactions of the glyco gluconeogenetic uh, pathway otherwise i thank you it has been your boy kigogo walingo and remember to subscribe to this youtube channel uh remember to receive more live streams from j quarter and all shall be well otherwise i wish you well as you prepare for your exams